Good morning. Let's review the Ambassador Program. When the RDA discovered Pandora... You can't discover something that was there all along. Hi. When we say discovered, we mean it was the first time humans came here. When we arrived, we realized that this was an opportunity to create beneficial relationships with the indigenous peoples. We created avatars like mine to help create relationships with the Natvi. And when you graduate, it'll be your job as ambassadors to reach out to the Natvi clans and to uh, help us to create those alliances. Can um, anyone tell me how that can be done? The RDA can share their medicines, technologies, and knowledge. That's absolutely correct, Taylor. Director Mercer, we have been going over TAP's mission as you requested. Why would Nami want to have alliances with you? <laughs> Alma. You have no idea what life is like out there, Ahari. It's savage. We found you as children. After your clan abandoned you, we have given you a future. A purpose. Our clan would never have abandoned us. Built up on its land. That's okay. Stop. I allowed you to keep that dirty trinket under the condition it remained in your bunk, hmm? Hmm. Hand it over. It was our mother's. It's not a dirty trinket. You don't even know what a song code is. Ari. It's just a broken string. I know this is difficult for you, but you have to accept that your mother abandoned you. Liar! <gasps> you all know the rules. No physical contact. No dinner for any of you. Director Mercer, sir! Manor, Manor, get Enzi. Aungangahu, Tam. Sat will loon it solani moon. Satona for Aungat Kamalunge. You're supposed to be speaking English on base. When you cry out at night, Telan, you cry out in Navi. Why do you always take Mercer's side? Director Mercer saved us! Daylon, they took us from our families. We are saplings cut from our roots. We may not remember where we're from, but we can still grow out there on Pandora. I can't even remember the words of our clan songs anymore. We can sing them even without words. We can't let them strip the Nat V out of us. We have to do something before it's too late. We are stronger than them now. I felt it in the classroom with the Mercer. We can end this tonight. I have an idea. Aunga Kenna Kelku. Good job, Daylan. Now we have to hurry. We only have a few minutes breathing the air before we're going to need masks. We found them. I'm very disappointed in you. We have given you this privileged life, and you want to throw it all away. We don't want your privileged life. We belong out there! No, you belong to us! You cannot fathom how much we have invested in you. Hmm? 
We saved you, gave you a home, an identity. We already had an identity. We are not me. No! You are what I made you! We may not remember the words, but we can still sing the songs of our people. Stop singing. I said shut up! Stop singing! We are going home. I'm warning you, Ahari. Not another step. Sao Matela. When Kiva and Nakalku. Stop right there! What did you do? So today we will continue our talk about Earth economics and the laws of supply and demand. Why do we have to use human weapons? Nor? We've been over this. Pandora is a very dangerous place. But we've hardly seen Pandora. How do we know what we're protecting ourselves against? Cortez, I need to talk to you over here, now. Look, orders have come down from Hell's Gate. We are being evacuated from Pandora. I need you to grab your stuff before... before the panic starts. What? Look, we have lost Pandora. Some avatar driver named Jake Sully went full native, turned the Na'vi on us. That's why you can't trust any of them. I need you to get your stuff together and get back to your own damn body now. Puppet show is over. Okay, everyone, collect your things. Hey, Cortez, I will handle this. You need to go. You know what to do. You'll be safe here. Is Mercer leaving us? We are no longer of use to him. No, I, I won't believe it. Hurry, you need to hide. Let us go. We can take them. We can escape to Pandora. There are soldiers everywhere. You won't make a single step. This is our chance to be free. This is your only chance to survive. What about you? You're just going to go to sleep for a little while. It won't be long, okay? You made it. I thought I lost you. All of you. What's going on? What, what happened? Been asleep for a while. A long, long while. Well, Natikame. Must you prod at them like this? If they can walk, they can walk. The rest we have to leave. But the RDA left, didn't they? And you left us here. The Sky People have returned, Sarandu. Sarandu? No one has ever called me that. That is your clan. And a mighty one at that. We thought you were lost to this world, but this dreamwalker thought to lock you up in a box instead. I'll explain when we get back. 
But for now, you take it easy. Your body's still waking up. Take this. A radio? Put it in your ear. It is tuned to our frequency. You've been busy. They were looking for you. They found me. You need to move. Now. Wait. What's your name? Sole. One of the last of my clan. I am here, so you will not be the last of yours. Keep moving. Fast and quiet. Go. Gotcha. Did you catch, Harding? <laughs> ah, you don't gotta worry about this one. It hasn't got anywhere near the fight its sister did. Murder. Well, look where it got her. Such a shame. They could have been of use once. But now there are no Navi ambassadors. Only Navi obstacles. Now you see what they kept you from. Your true home. You saved me. Ah! You can't keep fighting. I will help you this time. And this is how we heal. have no song court. We had my mother's, but they stole it. We must change that. Wait! What should I do now? Do? You must discover your own way, Sarantu. And until then, join the resistance. But hear me. Those humans have the same enemy, but we're not the same. No, no, no. They are too close. Go. I'll meet you at base camp by the waterfall. It is soundproof, Priya. Jin thinks he's got it figured out now. Oh my gosh, another one. I am so glad you're here since, you know, there's so few of you left. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Resistance HQ. <sighs> uh, right, sorry. Oh well, Nati Kamie. <laughs> what? Clans all crew. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. We heard the shooting and Alma said to run for it. Are you okay? Shaken. Sotlek got me out. Where are the others? The Nella and Nor made it too. But they decided to spend time outside. I don't think they should. Isn't it dangerous? Don't worry, you're all safe now. That's what matters. What happened back there? Tap was in ruins. Mercer ordered it destroyed when they evacuated. 
I watched the walls collapse in. On you. I thought you were dead. Then Priya heard the RDA on the radio talking about his signal at TAP. I was afraid to hope. How long were we in there? It feels like you left yesterday. It, uh... Should feel like that for you, but... It's been nearly 16 years. What? 16? Alma! That can't be right! Y you need to understand. Seeing you all again today, you, you have no idea how much that means to me. I failed you. I won't make that mistake again, I promise. Look, take some time. Raj will get you cleaned up. Taylan knows his way around already. He can show you. This can be your home now. You'll see. You must be Raj. It's... Rajinder. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Alma said... I know Alma. Alma calls me Raj. I don't know you. I... I I'm new. <laughs> Relax, new. I knew you were coming. Sleeping all this time. Oh, you must be well rested. I have fresh clothes ready for all of you. Alma didn't tell me you were missing a sense of humor as well. Talon! Can't keep away, I see. And you brought another Navi. Alex builds stuff. Mechanisms and technology for all kinds of communications and discovery. And a little chaos, if I have the tuning right. <laughs> see this? This is Sid, my systems interrogation device. Good name, right? Bit of a mouthful, perhaps. Ajir thought it was a little much, but what does he know? I designed it with Navi in mind, a little troublemaker for RDA technology. Cobbled it together with old RDA parts. And top parts. Yes, well, we could probably scratch that off or paint over it, you know, if you like. I've been trying to get Alma to test it. Oh, we can test it. Can we? We can test it? That could be fun. I can make one for each of you. Go ahead, get a feel for it. I'd forgotten how it feels to simply sit in the breeze, taste the sweetness on the air, not listen to Mercer talk about their civilized culture. There are more colors than I remember. I have no names for them. We'll learn their names. We'll relearn all the Sarandu ways. Why do you think Alma waited to bring us here? Why didn't she check TAP before? Maybe it wasn't safe before. It's not safe now. Who cares? We are free. I want to run until my lungs ache and my legs give out. We could leave, you know, right now. Where would we go? <laughs> Wherever we want, all of us. What do you think? You, me, Inela, Telan? We could live as Sarentu again. Alma brought us here for a reason. She's gathering everyone inside to talk. She must have a plan. Don't stay here for her. She wants to control you. All the humans do. No, they don't. Alma was always kind to us. The people here like her. And they're nice, aren't they? They seem nice. Priya let me use her radio. I believe they want to help us. Let's go see what Alma wants. Maybe... maybe it's something fun? I doubt that. John Mercer, founder of the TAP program. The Saturn two know him all too well, but for many of you, he is a new face. He has returned to Pandora as the executive vice president of Frontier Operations, alongside your old friend from TAP, Colonel Angela Harding as his head of security. He is ambitious, Self-serving, egotistical. And you worked with him. We have been fighting the RDA for many months now. What difference can this man make? Mercer's tactics are aggressive. That, coupled with his frustrations over Tat's failure, we need to strategize. Our outreach work with the nearest clans has been difficult. Some Aranaihe were willing to fight, but after suffering losses on their side, 
They have since withdrawn. We haven't explored further than the Zeswa. They're fierce, but they're unwilling to make a human alliance. Your clan was one of travelers, storytellers, diplomats. Respected. The Na'vi might listen to you. Uh, Alma? We have a pollution spike close by. Like, really close. Check out the levels. RDA, it has to be. They're here. With Mercer. No, not him! Pollution is caused by RDA machinery. They must be setting up a regular drill site. Carving up the land. Poisoning it. Turning it to sludge. They've never been this close to HQ before. If they go wandering, they'll find us for sure. We're spread thin right now. Solek, can you establish a safe perimeter? Anka, try and reach Hajir over radio. I can try to shut down that drill site. I think I have the hang of Sid now. I don't think that's such a good idea. Let them go. I've seen them fight. They'll be fine. Okay, but be careful. The rest of you, get ready to intercept any other patrols. Keep your radios on. The flower that opens only for the Sarendu to connect to Ewa after so many years. Ewa, I've dreamed of this. Do you think we should do this? This doesn't look right. You've never seen one before. Pandora isn't made of metal and wires. Yeah, but do you think maybe it's poisonous or something? That color, I'm sure that color means Poison. Ewa would not harm us. <laughs> Mercer warned me about Ewa. We'll connect together, okay? At the same time. But what is this? The mark I myself made? Do you know me, child? I am Entu, ancestor. Indeed, the first of our clan. We, Sarentu, wander Pandora, weaving together the clan with stories. You are new, are you not, to this world? Come to the Tarsu, child, when you need the wisdom of the ancestors, and you will thrive. But first, you must learn to survive. The first time you look upon Pandora is like the first time I looked upon the sea. I saw a vast, single thing, never still, always moving. But you can ride it to faraway places, or you can drown within it. To survive on Pandora, you must learn to move like the waves, to leap and to ride, to flow with the same energy. Take this gift of flow, child, and live. Our ancestor, a real Saren do. Do you think he knew that we... that we're different from other Na'vi? I don't think we are. We didn't grow up in a clan. We didn't hear all our songs, our stories. We only learned the Sky People's ways. Death, destruction, hate. But we still belong to Ewa, right? Mercer said Ewa brings pain. A black cloud over heart and mind, full of tricks and lies. He needed us to be afraid, to silence us. To control us. This is the way of the Sarentu. Our connection to the Great Mother. <clears throat> Check it out. It's the... you see where... We monitor air quality levels across the western frontier. Here, and at our field labs. It's gotten so much better since you took out that drill site. We've been researching the effects, trying to combat them, pushing the RDA back where we can. Yeah, they're gonna kill this place otherwise. Just like home. Earth? Alma taught us about it. Did she give you the whole story? It's, well, it's lost. Dying. 
because we didn't fight for it when we had the chance. So now we're fighting for yours. We are going to make a difference here, together. You did well out there. Did the humans teach you their weapons too? No. I saw the RDA butcher my clan. The bullets slicing them to shreds. That was my lesson. I know how it feels to be among the last of your people. The humans. They are like their guns. Brought here to cause pain. The humans here were RDA once. And I would not make it easy for them to forget. They are our allies now, yes. But this is not their war. They fight for the ghost of their homeworld, but we fight for our home. Mercer got what he wanted in the end. He made us into soldiers. You are not what they made you. You are not we. You will learn what that means in time. Starting with this, I made it for you. My own song chord? Like my mother's. All Navi wear one. It is your life's journey for the world to see. For you to remember. Hers had more beads on it. Each bead is a moment of great importance to the wearer. I have put one in place for now. To commemorate your first steps to freedom. Build on it. Build your own memories. Each one a new song in your heart. I hope we can. Ritnella really wants to try. To know what it means to be Sarandu. But at the Tarsu, Nor seemed confused. Upset. Ewa shows us who we are. And who we can be. But she also reminds us of what has been lost. For your people, that is a heavy burden. What must our ancestors think of us? Do you think they pity us? Sad to see what we've become? We're still Sarindu. Telan barely speaks our tongue. But then, he always preferred human words. Alma says we all need time to adjust. Alma is not Natvi. Why did the RDA come back? They wanted more of Pandora. They always do. Then we'll need to fight. Yes. Ahari would have wanted us to fight. Nella and Telan. We'll make sure HQ is safe. Damn it! How'd they find this place? It's not on any of their patrol routes. They're looking for us now. Uh. Okay. be fine. All right? Listen to me. You'll be fine. Yeah. Have you seen one of these before? Uh, no. Don't worry. It's easy. We'll have more on us soon. We need to stabilize him. Don't take too long. There's an oil refinery ahead. I'll make sure the idea come running to it. Keep them off Alman Hajir till then. You can handle this. I'll be quick. That was close. They had plenty of amp suits. More than I've seen around here before. 
One of Mercer's favorite toys. You're always quick. I'm sorry you had to face them alone. I wasn't alone. Solek distracted them. And did you see that Nappy? Ikran are fierce. And very protective of their riders. An RDA scorpion is no match for them. Nappy. Dreamwalker and human. Fighting the Sky People alone. You are very brave. That was amazing. The way you took out that thing. Thank you. Wait. You have the map. You are Saar and Tu. The storytellers. Bring us a peace. My father said your clan disappeared years ago. We thought you were dead. The Saar and Tu spirit is not so easy to kill. I had hoped to find the resistance here, but. A Saar and Tu. I am Itua, Sahe of the Aranae. I knew your mother. I'm sorry. Our home suffers too. The Sky People grow bolder and the land falters under their feet. And yet, my people, our home tree, we are not warriors, but war has come. My father still needs convincing, but he knew the Sarentu. He will listen to you. He must. I need to get them back. The others. They should know what happened here. Of course. I'll help with your wounded. My home tree isn't far from here. Tell them I sent you. But not all see as I do, so please don't mention my part in this. May your spirit soar with the currents of the wind. You, stranger! I've not seen your kind before. What clan are you? They look odd. Etua invited me here to see her father. What's that on your face? It is the mark of the Sarandu. And yet the Sarandu we once knew did not defy Ewa with scraps from the Sky People. It's all I know. They stole us when we were children. They have stolen many things. You were gone a long time. And you are young. Has your spirit been molded by the Sky People? Or do you remember the ways of your clan? Shoo! Put that away. <clears throat> Sharp eyes. A Sarandu's gaze. But yours is heavy. Let home tree be a refuge from your burdens. We will put some color in your cheeks. Or in your clothes at the very least. You will pick up the threads of your people here. Oh, how I miss their stories. They loved our silk harvest. The sweet smell of dye my own too. Got not. Let me take the Saren too. The poor child knows nothing of our ways. Go. We will speak more when you are settled. I think... Koranu, my dear. Let us see your latest. Gorgeous silk, is it not? Not as sturdy as it once was. Not since the King Lord Flowers closed. But still, you will not find better. Stronger than Zakru, well, I promise you that. And you know how the Zezwa love to brag. Koranu is quite the weaver. She will help you out. Anything you need. Yes, please take my mind off this. I've been working on it for hours, and it's still not quite where I want it. Relun! Finally decided to grace me with your presence, have you? And with a Sarentu, no less. Exciting, is it not? Another lost soul for you to guide over the rocky ravines of life. Better meant to wait, Sarentu. <laughs> ah, 
Still cross, I see. If you are smart, you will not let this one fill your head with silk and dye. The heart of the Aranae is taste. And here, my dear friend, Kitangi. Nafika, taking the Sauron to under your wing already? A necessity, I should think. Look at these clothes. Pitiful. Blech. Rough and prickly like a hermit bud. You lack the grace of your ancestors. They knew how to dress. Rough and prickly is what I'm used to. Well, now you will shine brightly. Rival the rainforest with our collars, my own too. Our silk will serve you well. Strengthened with storm beast hide, it will stop you from getting chewed up out there. Or at least, you will be hard to swallow. <laughs> storm beast? Can this child track? I've done okay so far. Okay? What do we think of okay? Do you thrive on okay, child? Or do you only survive? Itu is on a hunt. I'm sure he will make a fine guide. <laughs> Indeed, if you can find him. There is a hunting camp near the Watcher. Itu will be there. But do not upset his hunt. He will not thank you for that. Go on, my own two. A respectful hunt will show Katnat. You remember the ways of the people. Your Ikran is beautiful. My Zomi, for her no wind is too strong, no challenge too great. We hunt with heart in harmony. Are you here to admire us? I would not fault you for that. No, I... I I'm looking for Itu. My name has reached other clans. Even lost ones. Let me guess, Nafika sent you to me. <laughs> she wants me to teach. Boring, I say. To be safe at home, telling the little ones of Hans of adventure. They would not understand. What does danger mean to those who have only known safety? Zome and I tear through the skies together, our hearts pounding, our senses on fire. That rush makes us strong. Fearless, the best hunters. Nefika did say you were hunting Sturm Beast. Can I join? Is that what you are after? Are you a good hunter? I was never taught how. Never taught how? What have your people been doing all these years? Did you find a land without hunting? A place where creatures lay down to die willingly? See there? Young hunters practice on targets first. Practice, or it will be the Sturm Beast hunting you. Not bad. At least your thanks will have meaning. My thanks? Are you serious? What have your people been doing? What kind of life have you lived? It's a long story. If I wanted to hear a long story, I would be at home. Each time you hunt, you must take a life. And so you must thank your sister or brother for their gifts as they return to the Great Mother. I see you. Your spirit goes to Ewa and your body stays to become part of the people. Thank you for these gifts. This way you let her ascend to the ancestors. Remember that, and do not waste the gifts you receive. The gifts? Right. The hide, the meat. You know what to do with them. Ah, Nefika will show you. Go on. You do not need me to hold your hand. I have some meat from my hunt. Nefika said you... You sent this forlorn miscreant to bother me? Everything is a joke. As usual. She said you're the best cook. Ha 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 ha! Ah! The child knows how to charm. And honesty from you, Afika. I suppose that is typical of her tactics. She thinks flattery will get her everywhere. Come, come. Leave the grump for later. Now we turn to more serious arts. Tell me, if one of the Sky People's flying machines went down near your home, creating a huge mess, would you be concerned? I am still right here. 
and I am telling you not to worry. But what if someone got hurt? When we see potential danger, do we simply say to ourselves, Oh, I hope someone does something. We are that someone, Neon. Do we know why that aircraft went down? No, we do not. Which is why I am advising my fellow scout not to involve me, herself, or anyone else. Including you, Sarentu. Relax, Neon. I would never dream of putting your life in danger. I could use a hand out there. I'd be happy to help. But I don't want to cause trouble. Ignore him. It is what I do. Their flying thing went down in Weaver's Flourish, near a river. It's a good place to start. You will not find anything, Alemon. This is a waste of time. Sarantu, I suggest you stay away from matters that do not concern you. Nefika has had her way. Now you look more like the Saren do we remember. The loss of your people pains us. We valued their counsel, but we know you are not here to offer their wisdom. The Sky People... The Resistance fights them, but they can't do it alone. This is why you have come. You stand in the heart of our home tree. Its warm embrace. Even you, lost one, must feel it. And you ask me to bring war here? No. They bring war with them. Please. We, Aranahe, do not seek conflict. And yet you goad us, desperate for a fight. Do you remember your family? A little. My mother. Her smile. Her warmth. Did you see her die? Did she smile at you then, helpless, desperate to reassure you? Have you seen Ewa's light leave someone you love? Well, you certainly made an impression. Gatnat is not easily rattled. Be careful, my own do. I wasn't trying to anger him. Keep your chin up. Pay a visit to the very top of our tree. Our Tzahik is back. The King Lord are restless. The rainforest was theirs once. The sky people drove them out, I am sure of it. Is this nest all that remains? Yes. And with so many King Lord here, our home tree weakens. Ah. See? How the Queen cares for them. Protects them. She is born knowing what to do. How to lead. She knows where she belongs. My mother always said, a steady heart, see steady wings. They were always at ease with her. I'd find her here at dawn, tending to them, singing to them. Mm. Her love was enough. It's all right. They won't hurt you. King Law are peaceful by nature, but they are not docile when facing a threat. Their sting is sharp, and they swarm as one. We must find our sting. Itu, where is he? Your father is asking for him. He's not back? We need to talk that night. Wait! You don't have to. We can find him together. The people need their psychic here. I'll deal with this. Let me go with her. You helped me before. I'll help you now. Stay where you're needed. Where I belong. I know why you're here. Only to help. Or to check on me. Hitua sent you. She wants to ensure I don't tell Katnat how she defies him. Etua is just worried about Itu. Just like a Sarentu. Eva the diplomat. I hope so. One day. Perhaps we need your diplomacy. We are not fighters, and I worry this time we went too far. What happened? The sky people creep ever closer, so we push back. It's just the three of us to stay out of sight from Gatnat. 
Usually, it's fine. Exhilarating, even. We get home, we celebrate. But this time, he too never did. He needs me. I must go. I could come with you. I'm retracing our steps. It's too far without an Ikran. I can search here. Maybe he and Zome are closer than you think. Perhaps. He has a place at the stone pillars down the hill from here. There's a cave at the bottom of the cliffs. Prepare your gear before you go. The Skype people move in packs. And save yourself broken bones by using the big leaves to break your fall. This metal bird is a trap! I'm sorry. I was trying to let you out. My Ikran. Zorme, is she- Still fighting. She helped me fight off the RDA. The sky people separated us. Gone at me in here. I could hear them shooting at her. Laughing at her anguish. They hunt without need. We should get out of here, before more come. <laughs> I must get to her. I know. Okay? We escaped the metal bird. A narrow victory, Sarendu. We must fly close to death to soar through life. That was too close. You have my thanks, Hela and I. It was Zome who saved us. She must be a legend among Ikran. Ah, together we fear nothing. I saw that metal tear shoot her as she tore it down. I shall go now and tell it to her what she missed. Ito, you're injured. Let me help you. It is nothing. I shall call Zome and be on my way. My beautiful. I am here now. Let me carry your pains on me. Let me help you. We have to go home, Zome. You have to fight so we can go home together. You are not fighting. You are supposed to. Do not leave me, please. I am sorry. But we can save her, can't we? Return to Ewa. Until whispering winds lift us once more. Kindred. Sorry. I was looking for Etua. No, do not go. Speak with me for a moment. I let my fear and anger speak for me before, and I dishonored your loss. Even though she is with Ewa, my beloved mate Asahe reminds me of everything that was taken from us. Her wisdom and kindness remain here, and in Etua. I see you and Etua walking the same path, and yet it takes her further away from me. She is like her mother, impetuous and headstrong. She is the fearless Navi I want to be one day. I held her, Asahi, as she died in my arms. She was fearless too. Where you see a risk worth taking, 
I see certain war and devastation. My people have lost so much already. But if you don't fight, you could lose everything. For a moment we saw the peaceful spirit of the Sarendu in you. But it seems they truly did die. Our own Sarendu hero returns. Your ancestors will be proud. The hunters told me of Zome's needless death. Sky people care nothing for life, for beauty. And they are the problem with the King Law. I know it. What now? When your mother had that look, trouble followed. If you connect to the Queen, she will show you what pains her. I tried, but could not understand what I saw. She might reject me. I'm more Sky people than Navi. You are both. That is your strength, and why it must be you. Your father might banish us all for this. I know he is afraid for us, Nafika. But if we do not try, he will not have anything to protect. Glade of Light is perfect for a meeting away from prying eyes. Yes. I will escort the King Law Queen there. Unfurrow your brow, my Aundu. All will be well. A tiny sting, and when you awake, we will give you a reviving nectar, Nixie. A sting? It's nothing. But the nectar Nixie will welcome you back. All who ask for sight from the King Lord Queen must gather nectar before the ritual. Take heart. You are more Navi than you know. Now shoo. Moving out to rendezvous point. Roger back. Evac is a go. Let's hope this works. Hope is the only thing we have left, my Aundu. Did you bring the nectar? Mm -hmm. Ewa has brought us calm. There will not be calm if Katna discovers our plan. Mm. Is it going to hurt? No! No. Ewa, we enter your welcoming arms at one with all things connected through you. Ah. Guide this traveler, bring them to the heart of the nest. So she keeps flying. There's something, an energy wave. It feels harsh from the queen. She needs to find the other King Lord. Protect them. A wave of energy. It's closing the flowers that they feed on. The King Lord are hungry. Distressed. The balloons. The pulse is coming from the balloons. It pushes the King Lord back. And this 
comfort and then confusion. She doesn't know how to get them away. sees the shadow above, threatening the swarm. She's showing me that there are more balloons. That RDA facility, it's sending a signal to the balloons. The King Mark grow weak. The Queen must hurry. Find a safe place before the swarm dies. Flying so far, away from the balloons. The swarm is weak. Where is she leading them? And I think they're okay. Eat this. You have been on a long journey. What did the King or Queen show you? I saw the Sky People's facility looming over the forest. It's sending out a signal to the devices in the sky. That signal closes the flowers, stopping the King Lore from feeding. This forced them to the shelter of Home Tree. But the devices can only be reached by air. I'll shoot the floating devices down, every last one. That won't be enough. The signal is coming from a Sky People base at the Stone Pillars. But I think I know how we can disable the sensors on the floating devices. Then you must fly with us, but you'll need an Ikran. An Ikran is an honor only Katnat can grant. And he will not. The King Lore has shown the Sky People to be the source of their troubles. He has to listen this time. I'll gather the hunters. Their bows will be ready to help save the King Lore. Nafika will meet you at the base of the Rukri. It is time for you to soar, my Aundu. I will bring Itu. It will comfort him to see you make the bond. We'll meet at a high place near the Rukri. Let our arrows fly true when we descend on the Sky People. What if I don't make a bond? You shall still have honor, my Aundu. They shall sing songs of how an Ikran tossed you from the rookery. <laughs> First, you must connect to Ewa. She will prepare you for the Ikran bond. Let us not stand around waiting to be caught out. You're here? Is it safe? Uh, uh, I am not sending you to your doom. Go on. Trust me, my Aundu. That's what you said about the King Lore sting. Ah. Yeah. I use this with Zomi. May you find a bond as strong as ours. Oh, and my out. Our hunters always say, do not look down. I suggest you heed their wisdom. <laughs> now name her. She has made herself yours. I'll call you Teme. A new bond. It is wondrous to fly on thought alone, to touch the mind of another. 
Your heart's beating as one. You must secure the bond with a final act of trust. How do I... Hold for her! Hold for your Ikra! Fly high together and secure the bond! Yes! We did... Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's think. Feel what to do. Your Ikran is fierce and proud. It saw a kindred spirit in you. Your father refused to help. They all did. Doesn't matter what I say, they still see me as my father's daughter, not as the Sahib. You are all he has left. I am more than my mother's shadow. She loved this place. When I was a child, we'd fly here together, her holding me tight on her Ikran. We'd lay down here and tell each other stories about the stars. I felt so grown up then. She made you feel important. <laughs> it was the stories of the King Lord I loved most. I wonder what stories my people had. They stole them from you. All the sky people have taken. My mother saw how their hearts are ruled by ignorance and greed. She stood up and was cut down, dying with sky people metal inside her. We never spoke of the resistance after that. Your father thinks the price of fighting them has been too great. Will be too great. If we do not fight, we will lose everything. We did not want war. But they have made us warriors. We must bring the fight to them. This will be their last flight. Today, we finish what they started. Let their ashes shroud the sky. I will throw their fire! Come on! 
Look! We did it! You see them? The, the flowers are opening! King Lord can feed again! Please, I... I don't know what to do. Etu has been hurt. Prepare the hunters. Get ready for us to fly. Etua! You did this! You made her go! Father, stop. Look! They are feeding on their own. What happened to them? It was the sky people and their floating machines. They're strange, pulsing, forcing the flowers close, driving the king law from their nests. Only the Saren who believed me. They saw how it worked. They destroyed it. Alone. I tried to tell you. I wanted you to come with me. In the end, it was the Sarentu who saved our home. Enough. Etua is right. War is upon us, and Ewa cries out in pain. It is a call we will no longer ignore. Etua and I will stand beside you, and lead our people, together. No longer will our blood stain their hands. We will purge these lands and skies of their blight. For our children, and their children. Pandora will be free! Alma? We never saw you like this. I don't leave the link bed much these days. I've grown so used to being one of you. You look different, but the same. I'm the same, but you are changing, growing. Every time we meet, you look more Nafi. We heard from the Aranahe. I never thought they would change their minds. And now, we are stronger than we ever were. Is this how you greet the Sarentu after all this time? I had to see for myself. <laughs> Not even a flinch, this one. Fearless like a Zeswa. Or perhaps just slow. That depends on if I was the target. My name is Nassim, Oloektan, of the Zeswa. And no warrior in Pandora can best our spears. <laughs> then you have not seen us fight. I heard you got those pompous weavers out of their tree. But the sky people ravage our lands too. We know them all too well. I should get Alma. Speak your own mind, Ritnella. We have the same enemy. We must fight together. So our envoy will come to you, just as our people once did. My sister Minang hunts beneath the celebration arches, warrior. Fly the signal kite like our riders do, and she will answer your call. Of the Zeswa. Then we have found each other. 
You have been missed. <laughs> Mina! Deciding to tread the grass again. Let us ride the wind and celebrate by the fire. We will hear your tales like we used to. Sister, you must give the warrior time to adjust. Breathe our air, feel our earth beneath their feet. Meet the Zakru. Who is the Zakru? Our wards and our guardians. Our home and heart. The home of our people wanders, warrior. It is never in the same place. But we leave kites in its wake. Flying high. So you always know how to get home. <laughs> you already think like a Zeswa. Now we will teach you to ride like one. Do they ever get hurt? <laughs> Our people have hot heads and warmer hearts. When the Zakru walk, we follow. And when they rest? We let the ground learn our feet as we dance, the air our voices as we laugh and sing. There is something I must do across the stream. It is part of the surprise. Take your time to walk around and meet the Zeswa. Our fearless riders are famous even beyond the grasslands. And there is someone in the nursery eager to meet you. Is she asleep? Mm hmm Her name is Ko Akte. She does as the grown-ups do. You have built your home around them. They must be deep sleepers. Mm hmm They don't just sleep, but feed. But one day they will wake up and leave, to look for fresh soil. When they do, we will follow. You are travelers, like my people. Like they used to be. I've only heard stories about the Sarentu. My mother said when she taught one how to comb a Zakru's mane. But he tripped and fell into the milk vat. Um... But every time they visited, they would raise the celebration kites. And everyone would gather, dance fight, drink sanke. Your clan was loved. And now, you are here. We will celebrate again. The Saren too, visitor. Gossip precedes you. I hope it's good gossip. Just that you are a warrior in the making. Alas, nothing juicy. I've met Kin. He asked me to find milk. Ah, oh, Kin. His jokes used to be the joy of the clan. But he has not been the same since Sosu left. Here, fresh milk, graciously shared with us by the Zakru, the foundation of our strength. Who is Sosul? Kin's Zanke drinking partner. Have you not heard? He became the burden carrier. He left the clan forever, carrying that dreadful weight on his back. That must have been very difficult. To leave everyone you love behind. Tis a sad honor. But he took our burdens away, so we travel light. Thanks to Sosul, when the Zakru walk, we can follow. Your dire horse looks so powerful. Yo, you speak like the sky people. All creatures are like property to them. But she doesn't belong to anyone. I know. They are free. As free as we are. And each is unique, like you and me. This one enjoys the company of Zaku. She finds their calm soothing. Do you write? I've been practicing. If you want to learn our ways, you must master it. Dire horses are everything to my people. They help us carry our tents. We hunt with them. We fight with them and charge as one, our bellowing war cries echoing in the plains, shrinking the hearts of our enemies. Don't worry, Sarentu. Those are just stories. How it was in the times when such things were needed. Those times may return soon. If they do, we will be ready. She and I will. What's his name? Ah, Pasu. 
It means berry. Like this. He likes them best. Pasal. It doesn't look very tasty. <laughs> they are not for eating. They make him feel beautiful. Here. friends now. And Zakro, never forget a friend. Now everyone will know we stand together. The last visit of the Sadantu was many migrations ago. You return now to bring us new stories. Stories of war, of resistance. And this time, we will tell them together. Now we hold the same spear, and we ride as one. So, what do you think of our lands? They're stunning, and so vast, I wish I could fly. But my Ikran won't answer my call. The wind of the plains is merciless. Ikran need to know you will keep them safe. The Ikran Riders can teach you how, if you find them in Ewa. In the Chamber of Echoes, it is not far. With our circle on your back, walk by the leaning tree and past the hill. Psh. They are off on another of their mindless hunts. Not mindless. Never mindless. The Sky People don't do anything without a plan. I can try to find out what it is. Find the Riders in Ewa, warrior. Fly your Ikran. We will strike the Sky People's camps from above. You look unwell, warrior. What have you discovered? At their camps, I saw animals trapped and in pain. I freed those I could. They kill needlessly. They leave the meat to rot. Food from Ewa makes them sick. Ha! She stabs at them from their bellies. They only take the parts of our world that they can sell to other Sky People. As trophies. They have no respect for the life that surrounds them. Their leader is Harding, and she's well known for her cruelty. What they steal, they take to her camp beyond the stone pillars. Then we will repay her in kind. Go, and we will join you when we can. Keep your eyes and arrows sharp, Sarantu. of blood and mud, acrid and thick with death. Where is Harding? Did you find her? Harding's people must have known we were closing in. They withdrew. <laughs> Running away from us is a wise choice. <gasps> this is Zakru. Ewa took this one long ago. What use can they have for crumbling bones? The dead are easy prey. Harding is looking for a place with more of them. A graveyard? The Weeping Gorge. Sasul is there. If he tries to stop them, they will kill him. They will only find us at their gates. I will gather the warriors. I could ride out to the gorge and warn Sasul. Boss, come in. They've taken out the Dire Horse team. Get your filthy blue hand. <laughs> <laughs> I did not like her tone. Warn Susul. No more will suffer at their hand. What dusty spirit are you? Do not pass my friend. I know this child. You must not worry about Susul. Like my finest cheeses, he is soft and gooey under his crust. Hear yeah, that, Sasem? Such fond lies from my former teacher. Minang sent me to find you. It's not safe here. It's not safe anywhere. Tomorrow you may fall into a ravine or be trampled by Zakru. <laughs> <laughs> mm, delicious, sour, and 
fizzy as a scorpion thistle. The sky people are looking for this place. The Sarentu are back. Kin, what other secrets have you been keeping from me? There was something. The Zakru have started flying like Ikran. You will not believe how we milk them now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drink up, Sarandu. There is nothing here the Sky People need. Not need, want. They want the tusks. How popular we are amongst all our friends and foes. Please, we must go. Impossible. So Sam needs help with the hum, don't you? Is that worth dying for? So soon? Perhaps we should listen. Listen? How can I listen when all I hear is that? The wailing? The flutes. Their hum should be soothing. Bring peace to the children of Ewa. Not this. Mournful, discordant, uneasy. I must tune them. What if I did it? Would you leave then? Pass on your burden, my friend. Let you and I go home and celebrate your return as deserve. I could go back to the clan. After all this time. What are you waiting for, Sarentu? This is no time to gnaw upon the breeze. It's a mysterious song. Beautiful. Every time our home walked close to this gorge, musicians would come here to tune the wind flutes. And after the work was done, they would celebrate in the cliffside cave, basking in their song. These flutes are the work of generations upon generations upon generations. That's why you didn't want to leave them. You can count on me. I will finish your task. Remember the cave once you are done. Enjoy the sweet fruit of your labor and no peace. The wind, it's singing. Devour everything. Ay, 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 ay. <sighs> Rally your people, warrior. We ride to battle. They are no match for us in the open. Our numbers are greater. And our blood burns with Awa's cries. We draw the cowards out. Possum, Harding's people hacked off his tusks. Looking into that great eye. A cold, dark pool. All I could do was drown in it. We can't just charge in. Harding won't give up, I know her. Then go if you're already defeated. Perhaps the Aranahe have some weaving to be done. This is for the Na'vi to finish. Radio us once you are inside, and we will draw their warriors out to fight us. With their backs turned, you can tear down their camp and send Harding running. This will suit their cramped rooms better. Make it sing in your hands. I don't think that design's gonna hold up in the field, but that's just me. Choose with care.
Be safe. Nassim didn't mean to hurt you. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Um, it was a smart decision, actually. So that knows both not be and resistant tactics. So he can speak for us. I'll focus on other things. Coordinating the rest of us. I should have put a bullet in you back in town. Mercer always gave you too much credit. Harding, pull back! Now! Your little black market has brought the blues to our doorstep. I had it under control. You lost my facility. Burn with it if you wish. Otherwise, the last chopper leaves in three minutes. Your sister died quickly. You won't be as lucky. Roger that! Heading to rendezvous point! Facility is full bar! Four retreat underway! The Zeswa must now be a shield for all Awa's children. There will no longer be any callous slaughter. I look forward to when we lower our spears again and drink Zanke around the fire. Yes, when we no longer hear the growl of their machines on the wind. You won't have to fight alone. Carry the flame of our victory with you, Samsiu. May it spark new fires in countless hearts. That is odd to look at. Welcome back! It's all hands on deck around here for the party. Anything I can do? Uh, let's see. Uh, Taylan really needs some help with the lights. Do you mind? After that, I think we're all set. You can relax and have fun. Go talk to friends. You know, Jin actually tried cooking Navi food. <laughs> I've just set up some party lights. I haven't tried them yet, but I hope they like it. You're pretty handy around here, so I bet it's gonna be pretty special. Do you really think so? I just, tinkering with junk is easier than people. People are complicated. We'd better test the lights. If you go and flip the switch, I'll stay here, just in case my wiring catches fire. Look at you. You seem so grown up now. We've changed a lot. All of us. I am proud of our assistance. Our? Look. This is Sarentu. <laughs> Shoved in a box with everything else Harding stole from our people. It is back with us. That's what matters. Us? We are not the same. But we want the same thing. And you decide what that is. What we want. What we need. I only ever wanted what was best for you. To protect you. We didn't need protecting when we were with our clan. Where was your protection? When Harding forced me to hold a gun and broke my fingers around the grip. Or when Mercer had tail unbeaten for wetting the bed. The bruises took weeks to heal. He never liked a mess. And when they took a Hari away, I. We never saw her again. A Hari. You didn't do a thing to stop Mercer. The wounds he gave us, you gave as well. <laughs> Not right now. Wait, wait. Where's Where's Priya? Say again! <laughs> Oh, 
How did I get here? Billy? Billy Nash, is that you? But how? I, I can't hear you, by the way, so <clears throat> save the emotional reunion for later. <clears throat> yeah? Hold on. Okay, I'm getting you out of here, buddy. Cell door should be unlocked any second. Now, get out of here! Come find me, I'm in the security room. Hurry! Billy, is that you? Where are the others? It was chaos. I didn't see anyone else. Mercer and Harding found us in the wreckage. But how are you doing all this if we've been captured by Mercer? Skills. I managed to convince them that I wanted back in on the winning side. And now here I am, saving you. Also, I used to work here, if you must know. Anyway, keep moving. Stay out of sight and meet me at the security room. Finally, you're here. Before we do the plan, how exactly did you convince Mercer and Harding you're on their side? Before you say anything, I had to. It was life or death, like literally. Besides, I got you out, didn't I? So, now I'm just supposed to trust you? Well, I know this place and how to find our way out. So trust me, or you can, I don't know, go it alone and use your super strength or whatever against an entire aircraft hangar packed with RDA. I don't have much choice. So how do we get out of here? Mercer and Harding just evacuated. But at least we'll take out the fleet before they get to the Resistance. Yeah, that was close. Keep going as fast as you can. This place is about to go kaboom. Where will I meet you? I'm afraid it's last call for Billy, kid. But... What are you talking about? I have to override the last stage of the cooling system manually. I won't make it in time. I'm coming back for you. Stall it until I get there. If we wait, everyone we know dies. Once I hit this command, you've got like 20 seconds to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> I know you try and be a hero. It's my turn, okay? Fly low. Stay safe. Billy! Billy! <gasps> Too far from... There you are. Priya told me of your escape. I am relieved to see your Na'vi instinct saved you. It's good to see you, Sotlek. But I'm here thanks to Billy. He died to save me. Us. <laughs> Stupid idiot wouldn't let me go back for him. Billy's with his ancestors now. I guess so. I just wish he didn't have to be. Indeed. But I am glad you are here with us. Unhurt, I hope. The clouded forest is treacherous. I found patches of an unnatural deadly fog, probably RDA. They poison all they touch, even out here. I hope you'll be safe here. At least for a while. I will not rest until the Sky People pay for what they have done. We have lost so many. I hope we lose no more. In truth, I am worried about Nor. He was agitated right before the blast. Accusing Alma of things. Has he said something to you? No. I can see the darkness in his eyes, and I know that look. Resentment is eating away at everything Navi inside of him. It is not a good place. Can you talk to him? Truthfully, I am trying not to follow him there. You made it. Yeah. How are things here? Truthfully, not great. Basic supplies are low. And I'm anxious about us being in Gametire territory. Why? Are they dangerous? Well, Sotlek said they don't welcome strangers. And Alma once told me they're not to be trusted. Did she say why? No. I should have asked. But I didn't think about it until now. It could be just a rumor. Or maybe they just don't trust humans. Maybe. Did you think any more about Delan? 
I did. Let's give him some time. But I don't think we should tell Nor. It feels like he's already on the edge and this could push him over. Won't lying to him make it worse? Just for now. Until we get the situation in hand. Okay. I'll check in on Nor. Uma! Is she... She's stable, I think. That's as good as it gets right now. She was in a lot of pain, so we sedated her. Will she be okay? She has to be, but I'm not that experienced with Navi physiology. Hajir would know what to do. I can find him for you. Hajir is gone. Oh no. Hajir too. I'm so sorry. How did this happen? So many lives lost. Is there anything I can do? I don't know. There's a lot to take in. These inhalation burns are difficult to treat with our medicines. Everyone's in pain and I don't have the supplies to help them. What if I check on supplies? We might have something that can help. Yes, maybe. I think Nora was helping out with that. So I'm skulking out the back somewhere. Anyway, I'd better monitor Alma. Sorry. I heard you were back. I'm truly glad. Thanks. It was close. I just came to see how you are. Wish people would stop asking me that. Was there anything else? Kind of. Alma told Ritnella that the Kamatira can't be trusted. Do you know anything about them? That's not true. The Kamatire are reclusive, but they are expert healers, renowned among Natvi. Really? Do you think they would help us heal our injured? Perhaps. My father used to go to them for healing remedies. Then I should try and find them. Their capital, the Hollows, is hidden. But we used to meet an herbalist at the Kamitire camp, not too far from here. Do you remember how to get there? There was a winding river in the shadow of floating mountains. <laughs> oh yes, I'd complain about this long walk. It was all the way to the bottom of the cliff. My father enticed me with stories of the Gentle One, a rare creature from these parts. I don't remember anymore. That should be enough. I'll radio you when I find it. Uh, I hate those things. But... okay. I hope they trust me enough to connect to Ewa and learn from the Kametira Ikran Riders. I miss my bonded. There's actually an abandoned place near here. Solak took me there. Said I should try connecting to Ewa again. But... It made me feel weird. I don't want to taint Ewa with my human ways and my bad memories. <sighs> maybe in time it will feel right for you. Yes, maybe. Anyway... Exit this way and follow the path round to the left. Watch yourself out there. Well then... <laughs> That went exactly as I predicted. Fascinating. Are you hurt? No. You fight like a Zeswal champion. Uh, well, at least, that's what I think they fight like if I ever saw one. I hope I will. Have you? I have. Fascinating. But wait. Are you sodden too? Or has the Yavah sickness taken me? I am. But what is Yavah sickness? The Yavah. A fog that burns your throat and clouds your mind until you die. I got lost while studying its effects. I followed the sound of the animal scare to escape. Yavah. I think I saw some earlier. What causes it? Nobody knows. It came after the sudden two disappeared. Something gay was punishing the Kamatire. Doesn't seem right to me. So you are Kamatire. I need the help of your greatest healer. Awasahe Kanufi? Oh no. She doesn't see anyone. Would she see me? My friends are sick. Please help. Perplexing. Mokasa forbids visitors. But they are sudden too. But is that good or bad? And they did save me, twice. I have decided. And I will help. But nobody must know. How do I find the capital? 
Hmm. Let me see. With your bonded, soar over the lake and continue until you see the rock we call Eklon's Head. Flat on top, with its nose pointed to the horizon. Thank you. What is your name, by the way? I am Oku. But remember, if anyone asks, I did not send you to the Hollows. A sudden. They have the mark. I thought they were dead. What do they want? The sudden to return. Why have they come? A sudden to live. That plan is long gone. So, who dares to darken our threshold with lies? I'm looking for your Tsai. The Sky People attacked us, and we have many wounded. I was told the Kametire were healers. We need help. There is nothing for you here. Especially from our Tsai. Do we not have an obligation? Our clan once helped those in need. That was before our Tsai killed, instead of healed. The Sarantu no longer walk among us. Only liars. Why would they lie? The mark is clear. Enough! You desecrate the memory of our Sarantu friends. In any case, she is in seclusion, far from here, and not to be disturbed. Be on your way, imposter. We have no need of you here. Not everyone agrees with Mokasa's methods. Meet me at the Circle of Ancestors, where Ewa shows us the way. Never seen a Sarentu. Never thought I would. Then you walked into the heart of the Kametire, as if it was nothing. I didn't know. What? That everyone blames us for the dead Sarentu. But wasn't it the RDA who took us? You don't need to hide. We're not hiding. The clans turned their backs on us. And now, Mokasa is our only guide. Our Tsahik Anufi is lost in her own darkness. Anufi, how do I find her? Nobody ever sees Anufi. Mokasa forbids it. She stopped fighting for us a long time ago. But if I could just talk to her... Maybe. Seeing a Sarentu will bring her back to us. She has a place beyond the Great Falls behind the capital. If you find it, tell her Satne sent you. Anufi? Step into the light where I can see you. I was told you are the greatest Kametira healer. Lies? Yes, there was once pleasure in healing. And power to... The power to harm. These hands are proof of that. And... A tiny thing I made... Like this. I made it to heal, but it only did harm. And now your people lie in the fog. What did you do? Child! I killed you. All of you. No. The sky people came for us. No, it was me. So many dead already. No. I told you, it is too dangerous. I cannot risk trying to heal any other innocents. But our wounded will die without your help. Then they will die. Why wouldn't Anufi help me? I thought she was a healer. Anufi is troubled. It may take her time. But I don't have time. The Sky People attacked us. Many of us died. Others are sick. Please. I don't know where else to go. Nobody can know I helped. But there is another healer. 
His name is Siul. Where can I find him? Herbalism is forbidden. But Siul persists. Why is it forbidden? My friend said you were famed herbalists. When you find Siul, he will explain. I can't help you if nobody will tell me what's happening. Talk to Siul. The herbalists have a space in the hollows. He might be there, although I haven't seen him in a while. That's all I can say. Please go now. I understand. Thank you. Oh, cool? Oh! Oh, okay. I know it looks bad, but I didn't collect this stuff. It's research to fix the Yada. My mentor, Tziul, he found most of it. I thought maybe I could continue his work. Now he's passed. Tziul is dead? I'm sorry. I hoped he could help me, after Anufi seemed so afraid to see me. What? You spoke to Anufi? Tziul never believed it was her fault, you know. What happened to... uh... My people. I mean, if he was right, then maybe a new fee will finally... I do not know. Stop blaming herself. Teach people the old ways again. Like me. Siul kept coming here. He was so sure the Yava had secrets about the Sarden to expose the truth, he said. The truth? About what really happened to my clan? What Anufi did? Or didn't do. Siul was trying to make something to protect us in the Yadha. But all his work is in there. I can't get in. And now the Yadha is in there too. Do you think maybe some of the Sky People stuff could help us get in? A tea with it actually. Yeah, that makes sense with thy thorn. This could really work. What's this? Tap con one? I don't know. Probably something Siul found. But this. the symbol. I suppose it's kinda pretty. There's a few of them around here. There are more? Tap all the way out here. It, it doesn't make sense. I need to find them. All in the other. But one second, wait for it. There we go. I did it. Just enough for one. You take it. You deserve to know what happened to your people. I hope this works. Siul was never wrong. You can enter the Yava now without harm. I bet my life on it. That tap symbol. Do you remember where you saw it? Yes, in the flatlands. A big rock with fallen trees twisted by metal wings. Good luck. I have every confidence in you. Nor? Are you there? Yes. What now? What did you find? It's a Hari. They... A Hari? What do you mean? I found a photo. All her records. With notes, they, they called her disruptive. They could see her strength. It frightened them. That's why Mercer destroyed her. Was Alma part of all this from the start? I thought she was just a teacher. She looked after us. That's what we all thought. But maybe we were just kids. And maybe there's a lot more to this that we don't know. Do you think so? Like what? Something isn't right about that place. Why did they abandon it? What happened? You're right. I have to go deeper.
ไม่เก็บเสียอาหารดีวอร์กอลาฟเตลิมันซิบุนุปอร์ฮึมฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึฮึ
Leave her. All of you. Can you not see she's exhausted? Anufi, you need to go home. Back to the safety of your solitude and meditation. Anufi, please listen to me. You did not kill the Sarantum. This one is nothing but lies. It was the sky, people. I wish that were true. But I saw her vials, clutched in their cold hands, their lips blackened. No! I found them, unopened, among the spent bullets used to murder my people. <laughs> Child, how did you know they would not harm you? Our people have always been healers. I never stopped believing that. It was you who found the evidence that condemned me, Mokasa. Show me. Hanufi, do you really believe this stranger? I am your advisor, and you ask me to... I am not asking. Seen enough. Mokasa, it was you who gave up the Sarantu. It was their children or ours. I had no choice. I carried the burden. Unable to connect to Ewa to hide our truth. And now you judge me? You made us doubt our traditions, our purpose. I saved you! You killed them! An entire clan! Our friends! Mokasa, you are cast out of Iwa and the Circle of Ancestors. If you disobey, we will know. Now leave our clan, cloaked in your shame. Traitor. How could you? You have given us a great gift. Restored faith in our traditions. And now, they will live on in you, Oku. Today we are full of sorrow, but we push this aside to heal your warriors. I will tell you where they are. Child, we know. I shall join you there. He buried us in lies. You dug us out. Now it falls to me to tend our future. Feed it. Make it grow. Flourish. Anufi and I. And you, perhaps? Now there's a thought. More people will return now that the truth is out. We will be whole again. You could stay here too, if you like. Thank you, but I should get back. To your friends, yes. They will be made whole as well. But after? Think about it. You could be at ease here. A new feel will help your friends when you are ready to leave. I see you are ready to return. Your face is stone. Your heart set. An admirable determination to fix the broken. This is something I must relearn. To take care of my people as you care for yours. 
But do not fear for your friends, child. The old ways will renew them. What can I do to help? I will collect my tools, but for you, the hunt beckons. There is a certain creature in these parts, the mere deer. You may put its hide and meat to great use, I am sure, but the fat of this creature is a gift. Ensure the deer leaves this life with peace in its heart. Ah, the fat. See how rich and smooth it is. A healing salve to soothe their burns. It is gentle, yes, but powerful. Dreamwalker, I know you. You brought the Sky People. You wanted our children. I saw you in the depths of Mokasa's memories. He told you where to find the Sarantu clan. To end them. No, no not to end them. Alma, you were there. You led Mercer to us. Uh, Mercer's school. The ambassador program. It was supposed to save lives. Both not be inhuman. I only tried to help. You stole our lives. Like you stole everything else. I tried to stop them. I... Ah! Oh! No! Get off me! Let it bleed. Do not become what you hate, Noor. Listen. It needs to die. Let her speak. Why? She is the reason for every bruise and broken bone. She murdered our families. A Hartley! I never meant to hurt you. Then tell us why. We know why! This is what you wanted, yes? Revenge against the humans. Revenge? This is not revenge. You are being consumed. Where does it end? These are our allies. Would you kill them all? I need to show you the truth. Please. The past is not hidden from the circle of ancestors. Walk with Ewa through her memories before that shell of skin fails you. I saw everything. Good. After all this time, we need the truth. I'm ready. So dark. Memories I locked away long ago for myself. From you, my guilt, my shame lies ahead, but I must tell the truth. Finally, I remember, there was a thrill. Finally, I'd see the sudden to... I told myself we were doing a good thing. But that's not how it ended. Can't see the way. Help me. Ignite the bonfires to light my memories. This is where Mokasa told me to find the Sarantu. Hey, no time for cold feet now. We're just talking to them. Do we need this many soldiers? This is our last chance. 
They're too primitive to understand what we can do for their children. It's for the children? Exactly! Just think what we can achieve, finally! We're helping them. They'll see it. be beautiful here. And then we came. Figures from my past. Shadows. I see them. So much pain. I, I need more light. I said I didn't know. But I did. I hungered for glory. Recognition. At any cost. Our dream began with a massacre. I... I... I had to focus on you. Children, protect you. But now I know that we were the ones you needed protection from. We wanted our school, our program. So we stole you. Your clan tried to stop us. So we killed them. Even this death won't absolve me of the crimes we committed here. I accept that. The Nakvi will never forgive us. Never. Take this. Don't worry, little one. I'll protect you.
the connection. But I'm, I'm glad I got to show you before. We should bury her. This. We should bury it. I'll take it. Is that what's causing the tremors? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that drill. Might backfire on them. Pandora makes it pretty clear. Respect it, or it'll kill you. Just like my desert back home. I've only seen pictures. We were also invaded once, a long time ago. They wanted oil, too. They thought the desert was a dead place. But real desert is powerful, and serene, and beautiful, and full of life. Always shifting, but never changing. What they do to the land, the RDA, that is death, which is why that thing must go. I haven't been able to get too close, but there's definitely... They're gone. <laughs> Father is waiting for us at the camp. I cannot return alone. I will carry your pain to the ones who caused it. Please! <laughs> Priya, there is so much death here. So many killed. So much life destroyed. I'm going up to the drill now. Stop this from happening again. Can you take this to Priya? It's data from the RDA. Yeah, I was trying to talk to her earlier. Couldn't make out much. What happened here? This devastation. Makes me want to just aim the Samson at the horizon and see how far I'll get. Anka, we'll stop them. You will. The Na'vi will. Humans, though? Not so sure we're really helping, even when we try. Anyway, you fly safe now. You too. Thank God you're here. Uncle flew by and drew the security team away, but they could be back any minute. We've got to work quickly. I need to know what the RDA... Uh, no. Are you okay? You look pale. Am I okay? I'm in the wild, in an RDA base, and I'm kind of hyperventilating. How do you do this all the time? Out here is where I'm meant to be. What do you need? If I can get access to this system, I can run some scans and dig through the RDA's reports. You're getting good at hacking, right? I can use my SID to find unsecured terminals. Perfect. I need personnel data with the right clearance, okay? So, the RDA are drilling at lots of new sites. Mercer's plan is pretty genius in a kill everything kind of way. I'm running a full oil toxicology analysis and mapping the quick damage, but it's gonna take a while. Don't worry. Your friends are keeping watch. And I'm super grateful. I'll shut down the drilling teams. Cool, cool. I'll see what else I can dig out of this database. I... I'm sorry. I really wish we'd never come here. Humans, I mean. It's too late to change that. But we can do some good now. As soon as I know anything, I'll radio. Be safe. You know, on Earth, rocks don't float. Every time I see it, it messes with my mammal brain. 
I'll never get used to it. I'm not even used to Pandora yet. There's so much more to discover. Which is why it's so important to protect her, right? The good news is, toxicity-wise, the land will heal. Which shows how totally brilliant your world is. Being an ecologist on Earth? Well, ecology's pathology, as my old professor used to say. That's so very sad. It really is. Pandora is so alive and so beautiful. It terrifies me. But I'd do anything to protect it. I'll have to run the simulations, but I'm pretty sure Mercer's plan will destroy all of this. The clan leaders are meeting at the HQ now to figure out how we stop him. I just hope we can, you know? Head back to HQ soon. We need you there. Mercer's next excavation will destroy much of this land. Then what are we waiting for? Thunder through their gates and drag the little man from his hiding place. Mercer's base... It's impenetrable. Our Ikran will bring death from above. You see these turrets? We'd be cut out of the sky. Are you saying not even a storm of Zeswa could strike a worthy blow? My people know what it is to struggle alone. There is strength in unity. Aranehe, Zeswa, Kamatire, and Sarantu. We cannot attack Mercer's base head on. Yet his show of strength hides an even greater weakness. Priya? Um, so Mercer really stepped up his game. You see these sensors? It's a sonar defense system, which sounds scary, and it is, but get this. It uses an unsecure connection. It's a weak link. Silly, right? I mean, if someone flies up there and scrambles them, Alex can hack in from a spot nearby. We can disable the drill. I've seen those before. I can do it. Then we will fly with you. Thank you. But with those sensors, the fewer the better. And if you fail? Be ready to move your people. I didn't think Merce would go this far. Oh, wonderful. Finally. The family reunion moment we all dreamed of. Why are you helping him? Why do you still care what he thinks? Taylor's a smart boy. He saw you were on the loose inside. What are you doing? No, please! What a failure you turned out to be. This sister had more fight in her. Such a shame she didn't make it. He said no one would get hurt. People died, Delan. I thought we were family. He said, I just wanted... I just wanted us to stop fighting. I don't care what you wanted, and neither does Mercer. You'll never be one of them. No escape this time. <laughs> Leave it to the big boys, Taylon. Come on. Did you mess with this? Just in time. Any longer and... They almost had us. And for nothing in the end. Did you get anything during the hack? Not a damn thing. Now what? We're screwed, right? That drill's gonna punch a hole right through Pandora. Time to start packing. Maybe not. I... I found something in the control room that might help. A data drive. Thelan gave it to me. Thelan? He was there? I knew something was up with him. Priya said he ran off after Mercer attacked HQ. He did this to us? He never wanted people to get hurt. I know that. He trusted Mercer. What kind of excuse is that? This could be a trap, a, a tracker! Look, we're out of options. And it's not like we haven't made any mistakes. There was a time we trusted the RDA as well. War makes fools of us all, right? I'll get Priya to take a look. Maybe this wasn't a complete waste of time. We are ready for the worst. The clan leaders are preparing their people. To move? What about the data drive from Thelan? Was there anything we can use? Construction plans for Mercer's base. The RDA dug deep, clawing through rock and soil. They breached the caves below. Here, away inside, bypassing base security. Thelan came through for us. So it would seem. Just what we need when we need it most. You didn't see him, Brinella. He regrets what happened. Mercer... 
he got to him. He always could. He may still have such sway over him. Talan doubts the Natvi in himself. He needs Mercer. Trusts him to fill the void in his heart. Now is the time to trust yourself, Ritnella. Listen to your heart. You will know what to do. <sighs> we should check this. If the cave entrance is real, perhaps the clans will not need to leave. If I make it into the base, I'll need their support. You will have it. Three clans, one army. I never thought I would see that again. Four clans. You forget the Sarentu. And my own. We are five clans, fighting as one. I wish there was something I... Daylon? You shocked those amp suits? I'm sorry. Are you okay? This hangar was supposed to be clear. I didn't get you, did I? I was afraid you wouldn't come. But you did. You believed in me. I know. I know I made a mistake. We need to end this, Daylan. I saw the charge. It's being prepped on the upper level. You could get there. I'll show you how. Come with me. The clans are ready to fight. We can stop Mercer. Together. No. I... Here is better. I'm... Better behind the scenes. You're better than him, Thelan. We're better than him. I can keep accessing the base system from here. Guide you through. Keep you safe. I want to... To make things right again. For everyone I hurt. For Ahati. For us all. You included. You're one of us, Thelan. Nafi. Pandora is your home. I know you will fight for her. Fate has us meet again within the walls of the enemy. Are we the first? For all their talk, the Zeswa are slow to gallop. <laughs> I need to get the perimeter turrets offline before they can come through. The SecOps building is right across the compound. Turret control rooms inside. Tell us when, and we will provide cover. Smoke and fire to distract and blind. I will not allow the Sky People to best us. Not again. They will regret the day they cross the Kamatire. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was too close. you do this, I will find a way to stop that charge. <laughs> you should get out while you still can. Look who's talking. Harding left. The Nafi are tearing your base apart. You're alone. And you are gonna die here. Swallowed up by your dirt moon. Go on. 
just like myself, but you won't live to see it. Not once my friend here is done with you. I am one of 
Showed half as much initiative in school, we'd have gotten somewhere. It's over, Mercer. We locked the bomb in place. This will all be destroyed. You're such a waste of breath. Uh, you see this, Taylan? This is what failure looks like. Yes, sir. Lower the charge. Time to watch your world break. Kayla, remember! Uh, oh, are you serious? This is how you choose to go out? With a children's song? Taylor! We are not children! Uh, we ought not be! It doesn't matter. You can't stop this. But I can stop you, Mercer. Uh, Pandora will renew herself. And in a minute, you will just be ash on her wings. Taylor! Kayla, let's go! I know you must hate me. You did it! It's finally over. The RDA is still out there. But we are free! He's gone. Mercer will never hurt anyone again. And we can move on now. As a new family, right? We followed your path long enough. It's time we follow our own. We must rebuild what we've lost. And find a way to be Saren too again. Even me. I'm proud of you. I'm glad I got to see it. The scars of the past will not shape our future. But allies will always be welcome. Whatever comes next, we will be ready. The Saren Tu are no longer lost to silence. We will share our stories again across Pandora. Our future. Ours to make. Together.